Welcome to the next in our series of TEFA rollout videos. In this presentation we're going to look at use of the integration framework for attaching inbound events to TSA services. This is a short and only moderately technical presentation but it does assume some prior knowledge which you can get from the first two videos in the series where we introduce the concepts of the integration tooling, the integration framework, the Fiorano middleware and we do a detailed walkthrough of both the inbound and outbound custom adapters. So to date it's been possible to attach an integration event to a T24 version or application and also to an enterprise component. Um, what we've added now is the ability to attach to a TSA service which could be either a close of business job or to an online service which runs during the day and Using the same mechanism, it's also something you could use for initial load purposes where you could write a dedicated service purely for the purposes of pumping messages out of T24 and we'll take a look at that at code level. We've also introduced a join builder. So in the previous demonstrations, we explained how it was possible to enrich a message within T24 by specifying a, a J-type descriptor on the standard selection record or to call back from the middleware to enrich messages with static data. What we've actually allowed you to do in the next release of the integration plugin is to build those joins in the Eclipse environment without having to return to T24. Let's start by taking a look at the changes to the event and flow editors in the integration tooling. So here I've created a new integration event in the normal way, um, but on the exit point tab I've got an additional radio button which allows me to create a, a new type of event one link to a TSA service which has enabled this frame here and from this drop down list I can browse all the TSA jobs that are available in my T24 environment that I'm connected to. So I've selected in this case uh, a service called AC All Account Service which is a new service I've written for the purposes of initial load um, for conversion at a, a new client site. Now moving to the flow editor and taking a look at the message definition associated with that event. The first thing I've done is to select the underlying T24 application which is the T24 table that's selected by the TSA job that I'm working with and by doing so I've given myself access to all the fields on that base application. So this is essentially no different to when I'm creating an event for uh, a version or an application. So I can select any of those fields for inclusion on my inbound message and I've also got the ability to add all of them if I want every field on that table added to my flow enrichments in this part of the screen. What I can also do now is build a custom join. So if for example I would like to have a field on my emitted message which has the name of the account officer I can click on the account officer field and use that as my base value and then select add join which launches this new dialog. So firstly I'm asked for the name of my new field so I'm going to call that officer name and then I'm prompted for the application uh, which hosts this field so in this case I'm going to go to the department account officer table and on that T24 table the name of the account officer is held in the name field and so I'm going to add that to my join definition and you can see that being built up there and I'm not limited to just one join definition I can actually iterate round around this process and build a join across two or three T24 tables if necessary to find my way to the values that I want to include on my message. So once I'm happy with that definition I click on the finish button and that join is added to the bottom of my enrichment table here and so you can see that check file style enrichment included on the table and then it's just the normal procedure to save my flow, save my event and then publish my integration project against my T24 area. So now when that TSA service runs within T24 each account which is selected for processing is going to result in a message being written to our integration event table and thereafter that table can be either polled by one of our external custom adapters or it could be pushed out to a JMS queue by running our multi-threaded integration service. So in this case I'm going to use the Fiorano ESB to show those messages arriving in the middleware. 
So I've defined a very simple event process. I've used a T24 inbound adapter and I've specified my design time connection details. And then in my metadata discovery phase, when I browse into T24, in the same way that I would see a, an event linked to a T24 version for transaction-based events, I can also see the flow definitions for TSA-based events. So they're shown in exactly the same place. And indeed, you can share a flow definition between an intraday transactional type event and also an event linked to a TSA service. So you can use the same flow definition for both. And then all I'm doing is routing the messages which flow into that inbound adapter to a display component so we can see them arriving in the middleware within this display component here. So let's briefly dive into the code for the service so we can understand what's happening under the covers. This is a simple service written purely for the purposes of pumping account information out of T24. And so we need just the bare minimum boilerplate code for any TSA service. So firstly, we have the load routine, which is run once by each thread. And that doesn't require any business logic in it at all. So we've got simply a return statement. So moving straight on to the select job, this routine is executed once each time the TSA is run by whichever agent is launched first and it's just responsible for identifying the IDs that we wish to process and in this case it's obtaining those by selecting accounts matching a particular currency that currency is Great British Pounds and then finally we have the record routine so this routine is executed once for each of those selected account numbers so it has one parameter passed in which is the account number itself and it's under the covers at this point that we've attached our event so each time a record is selected for processing we will build an enriched event and we'll pass that into the integration event table again in this case I have no business logic within this routine I'm merely using this TSA job as a hook to which I can attach integration events but equally this could be a close of business routine with a great deal more code in here the principle is exactly the same so now I've moved to T24 browser where I'm going to set up my service manager and then run the service so we can see this in action so I've set the service manager here to start and then the TSA job I want to run I'm going to do the same thing so that job in my case is BNK AC all accounts service so I set that to start as well commit those records and then I'm going to use command shells to show the next step so that we can actually see what's going on in a little bit more detail so starting with the service manager I'm going to start that in debug mode so that's now running and it's telling me that this agent is ready to start the one to run the all accounts service and so in a second command window I'm going to launch that TSA number two and that now on a single thread in this case is going through processing each of those GBP account records at a time and each time we process one of these account records we're expecting an inbound event to be written to the integration events interface table and so now if we pull up the Fiorano display component we can actually see some of these messages as they've arrived it's showing the last 10 out of 222 that have been emitted and if we look at the values actually coming out we can see that those are the GBP accounts That concludes this update on the Tefra integration framework. The demonstration today was performed on the R13 release candidate, but all the features that we've looked at will be made available back to R09. And if you have any further questions, then please pose them on the Yammer group for integration and component banking so that we can share our answers with everyone who's interested. Thank you.